Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Talk Jets Radio. This is one of your hosts, Tyson Rouse. And, man, we have actually positive news to talk about this week. So for all of you that complained about my rants last week and possible negativity and the McCagan bashing, which we could still do, of course. Don't forget, we could still do that. And the Bulls bashing, which Joe's become very good at, he'll still do that as well. But we do have some positivity to talk about. So we have mini camp, we have off the field news, all kinds of good stuff. And we have an article by Primetime. The Primetime producer wrote a novel, but it's an excellent article. So we'll have him discuss that as well. So what's up, Long Beach, Joe? What's going on, Ty, man? I, I'm I'm hyped. I cannot wait to talk Jets. You know, if everyone says, you know, I heard you say Todd Bowles bashing. Hey, it's not bashing if it's the truth, okay? It's just called facts. That's just the way it goes. But listen, I'm the man of the people. I'm here for the people. Let me shamelessly promote our Facebook page. Everyone go on Facebook, search Long Beach Joe. Like that page. Our content's up there. Go ahead and give it a listen. Message us. We'll message you right back. We love going back and forth with people about this football team. You can also leave us some feedback. We love hearing about what you guys think we do here on Let's Talk Jet. So without further ado, Ty, let's get into the show, man. I am fired up. Yeah, and once again, we're on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, TuneIn.com. Please subscribe. Subscribe on iTunes. Leave us feedback. We definitely appreciate it. You know, on Instagram and Twitter, Talk Jets Radio. We appreciate the follows, the support, everything else. Um, and, yeah, if you're a company and you want to advertise, you want us to help you promote your business or help you spread the word, we're happy, we're happy to help out. Just contact us. We have our email in our bio. Um, and, Joe, today, first day of mini camp, there's a lot of things to talk about. And I'm going to start with the positive. And the positive is Christian Hackenberg had arguably his best practice as a member of the New York Jets. Mm-hmm. And if you're any kind of fan, I don't care if you're a hater, you're a clown, you're a bozo, whatever you are, you have to be excited. And I, I, listen, I, I know we're talking about a mini camp practice. You're not in pads. You're not in, you know, I'll even. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game. <laughs> not a game. Not a game. We're talking about practice. I don't care that it's mini camp, dude. It's encouraging because this is what you want slowly but surely. You want to see this kid progress, Joe. So listen, first day of mini camp, a long way to go till we get to September. But it's a step, man. It's a building block. It's start, sometimes you have to crawl before you walk. If he's crawling, I'm excited about it, dude, because you know what? We need him to take his game to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. You know, everyone knows I'm a, I'm a big Petty supporter, but at the same time, I want to see Christian, you know, flourish as well. I want the best option at quarterback to start for my football team. That's what I want to see. And, and if it's Christian Hackenberg, if he turns out to, you know, really turn it on and get going this year – and goes in the preseason and plays extremely well, hey, that's who I want to see play. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. You know, I want to see the kid continue to grow, get better. You know, like you said, it's mini camp, no pads, no anything. I'll take more of a of an account of this when we get into preseason, when we're seeing defenses flying at him and the different schemes and he's asked to read and, and make his, you know, his hot reads and do different stuff and throw different routes that way with guys coming at him and things flying around in his face. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. If he sounded, if he had a great day, then he had a great day, and I'm not going to take it away from him. Yeah, and the thing is this. Listen, he, he's got great work ethic. He's, a, he's a, one of the first guys in. He stays late. He's putting the time in. Yeah. If it's paying off, good for him. Like, listen, as, as fans of this team, it, I'm not going to hate on a kid that's trying. Like, really what we want, like, these idiots that want to tank, listen, that's a whole other topic that we're going to discuss tonight, too, this whole tank fiasco. But as a fan of the New York Jets, you have a young team to be excited about, and if Hackenberg starts to emerge, that's awesome. It's a second-round pick. Yeah. A young guy has got a huge, a huge arm. There's no way it's a bad thing. And, and here's my thing. If you're a member of the media today, this afternoon, this evening, writing an article either mocking Hackenberg, bashing Hackenberg, or just even sharing a stupid clip, your agenda and your narrative is clear, and you're a pathetic, worthless journalist. Because he had a good day. So to take one clip, one clip they all. Hackenberg's still hitting reporters. It's just lazy journalism, man. It's piss poor. And your agenda's clear. It means you want no credibility. You want no respect. You're just trying to, you know, attach yourself to a narrative that today doesn't even apply, Joe. Like, like the yeah, I will, punchline, I understand because they're building like that. But dude, today it's unnecessary. Well, you know, we've gone over this a thousand times. There's very few uh, credible sources. There's very few credible beat writers that we have here. Uh, with this football team. We often know that our beat writers attack us more than any other, 
you know, you know, any other this news outlet this is, this out is, there. This is national news, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, even yeah, yeah even the sports, what a pathetic stuff like job. that. Yeah, I mean, guys like that, we know that we're going to be attacked, especially by our beat writers. But even outside, we know we're going to be attacked. So it just kind of is what it is at this point. You just want to kind of focus in on what this guy is actually doing on the field. Like you said, I've seen it. You know, he's hitting reporters, and the turf is going to be our best receiver this year because, you know, he's skipping balls all around. But, again, if the kid come out, came out and showed a solid progression in, in his, you know, in his throws and had a solid day at practice, then that just is what it is, and we've got to move forward. If you're looking for the media to cut the Jets a break – or not make us, you know, the butt of the joke, or not trying to make us the laughing stock of the league, then you're looking for the wrong place because that's been the agenda for years now. I remember a couple of years ago, you know, people were saying that we were the worst team in the league and we weren't even be close to being the worst team in the league. So it, it just kind of is what it is. No, but see, like, listen, they, we're going to be a rebuilding team. You're going to be the brunt of a lot of jokes. All I'm asking is for some, a little bit of accountability. Listen, you're going to make all the jokes. That's fine and dandy. But when the kid's actually <laughs> playing well or has a good practice, at least hold yourself accountable. At least do your job. Like your job is to report facts and report what's going on. Not 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 be so bait, you know, just clickbait driven that you're so desperate for the joke when your joke's not even right. This, and furthermore, but this, and don't be and don't be the fans that, that give into it. Like the, the Yahoo yeah. Sports throws that thing out there. Oh, Hackerberg on another bad day or whatever. And you see, you know, Jeff Van, yeah, he sucks, he sucks. Why why? Why like <laughs> Joe, my my biggest pet peeve is fans that take the media and make it their 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 mindset. Like, why not yeah. form your own opinion? What? Why have yeah. Yahoo Sports to, to tell you that Hackenberg sucks? Take the time to form your own opinion. Like, why be a sheep? Well, like, I gotta understand this. Well, well, again, it, this is something that we've seen for years, though. Why do that? Because it's easy. There's a lot of uh, there's a big portion of this fan base that is uneducated about the team. Period. Uh, and you can you can see that when we were talking about years ago. You want to talk about account- accountability in the media? What about when they were talking about how we need to pay Ryan Fitzpatrick? How many media, how many, how many guys in the media came out and said he deserved a big contract and we should have paid him? And then when we did do that, you know, absolutely destroyed us when he went down and, and cracked the bed. No one, no one was held accountable for those things that they were saying. They were all over ESPN. Guys were saying he deserved a big contract. But when he was trash, nobody said anything. Then it was the Jets got eggs on their face, and they're always making bad signings. These are some of the same guys that were telling us to pay him. So I don't I, – that's why I – look, I, I get it. I understand it, the frustration. But I don't expect any type of, you know, any type of anything from the media. I expect the hatred. I expect the nonsense. I expect, you know, a lot of guys not to do their jobs correctly in the media because that's just how it's been since I've been a Jet fan. But what I don't – what I don't like is like what you just talked about. When Jets fans, supposed Jets fans, ride with that narrative from time to time, whatever the negative narrative is, guys writing about how he sucks and all these other things, and then they just go right ahead and say he sucks too without really being educated or even seeing the practice themselves or even looking to see what this kid actually did or did it. But that's just kind of how it works here sometimes with, you know, Jets Twitter. Yeah, and the thing is, listen, I'm going to give credit to Manish. I'm going to give credit to Rich Samini, Connor Hughes, all of them. Yeah. All of the beat writers today all came out and said, Hackenberg had a great practice. There was no more jokes. No more like, listen, this is serious. It's a young kid. And, and you know what? I'll take another step. I'll give Manish credit for this. He wrote a great article today about leave Hackenberg alone. He actually went into detail explaining, listen, like enough's enough. Like this is getting ridiculous. And, and yeah. the first example is there was three clips of him playing passes today, three of them. One of them was a little bit off. The receiver kind of pulled up. It just looked – it wasn't all on Hackenberg. All of a sudden, is Hackenberg hits your quarter. So instead of taking a positive clip, Yahoo Sports, or any of the other clown organizations, you take the one that's kind of questionable, and that just shows your narrative. So today, Joe, it was the local beat did their job. I give them credit, man, because they all were positive about it, and they, they called it like they saw it instead of pushing their agenda. Now it was the national media doing it. It was like, come on. You know, it's just like – and yeah. Jeff fans as a group – Take the time to read your own, read, read more, learn more about your team, watch the clips, watch everything before you just start spewing hatred on the team. You know, and, and the yeah. thing is, yeah. like, everybody, oh, you know, and there's, 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 there's a group of fans, this negative group of fans are just like, tank. And one, somebody's making a freaking T-shirt, tank. Why? I'm not looking for tanking, dude. I'm looking for a young <laughs> team, a young team to play well, work their asses off, and maybe even surprise us. Hey, what if Hackenberg plays good and this team goes, Seven, nine, eight, and eight. Are you worrying about a tank then? No, then you're excited. It's like, hey, we may have a young quarterback yeah. now. 
We have a young team growing with a young quarterback. That's what a rebuild is, Joe. Tanking, tanking is, is just a – it's ridiculous. This team has so yeah. many young players. They're, so, they're motivated. They're hungry. They're working their ass off. I'm not wishing for them to lose. I want them to win with a young quarterback, Petty or Hockenberg. That's not that yeah. means I'm not embracing the tank for that point. Yeah, absolutely. And even going back to the beat writers, uh, you know, listen, I understand, you know, Manoush wrote a, you said he wrote a great article. I have a history with this dude, and I don't read anything that he writes because of a lot of things that he's said and done in the past. Uh, he likes to hop on both sides of the fence. I, I've seen him write positive articles about Geno, and then the year that it was supposed to be Geno's year, he wrote negative articles. I've seen him do a lot of stuff, unnamed sources. He's been a lot, you know, of the cause of a lot of the circus that goes on around here. But my, my boy Connor Hughes, now that is my guy, okay? I, I read a lot of stuff that he does. Um, I often agree with a lot of his takes as well. He brings the fire. So that is a guy that, that I, I read as well as, as Rose Richmini. And like you said, they, they wrote solid stuff. Um, but moving on, going towards the tank, listen, there's a lot of fans that are looking at the draft and saying, we want Sam Darnold. But, listen, tanking does not guarantee you Sam Darnold, and tanking also does not guarantee you success. Uh, there's been teams that have tanked in the past. We talked about how bad the Browns have been in for years. Um, you know, and, and they're getting their you know, top of the first round every single year, and they're still stumbling and bumbling around. Um, I, I, I want to see one of these two young quarterbacks step up. I want to see one of these two young quarterbacks take the reins here and be successful for us so that we can move forward. Maybe then, you know, you look at the draft next year, maybe we don't have to take a quarterback like you spoke about. You know, if, if Christian Hackenberg steps up and shows you, hey, I'm the guy this year, I can be the guy that you can build this team around, fine. Now we have, you know, more that we can do with our first-round pick. We can trade down. We can see what value we have, and we can move forward. You know, even if Petty does the exact same thing, if he shows you that he can be the guy. But there's a lot of fans that are enamored with, you know, with with the with the the prospect of uh, of Sam Darnold, a lot of people are comparing him to Andrew Luck, and you know, just a lot of you know wild comparisons thrown out there. Which you know, some evaluations may be you know great on that or, or, or true on that. Some may be a little bit off, but you know, he's supposed to the next big franchise quarterback, and a lot of Jets want the next. A lot of Jet fans want the next big name. Um, so I, I think that's where the whole tank for Sam is coming from. Uh, but like you said, I want to see one of these two young quarterbacks step up, and I'm cheering for them to play well because if they do, then that's one less question that we have on this roster. Yeah, I mean, this, I mean, this entire offseason, so many different media out- outlets have taken their shots at Hackenberg, you know, bashing him, all this. But then he has, he has a good practice. He's showing signs of development. There's no need to bash him. It's just unnecessary. And, and the whole well, tank not even... thing for even Sam Darnold, but, the, but the, whole, the whole tank thing for Sam Darnold, he's not a given. But just like you said, Joe, Think about this. What if Hackenberg emerges, right, or Petty, either one. Yep. They win five or six games, and next year, the first round of the draft, you get to draft an elite pass rusher. Check that yep. out now. So now you have a young quarterback, yep. a young defense, all, and now instead of worrying about quarterback, just, this is, and just saying what if, what if you have the chance to go after the pass rusher? Talk about rebuilding yep. your franchise fast. Your whole ballgame game. Or, or, so the Jets fan, this yep. Hackenberg dude has to be good for you. Yeah, or even even then, like I spoke about a little bit earlier, you can take that pick and turn it into, you know, maybe two first-round picks and some value later on in the draft yeah. and get, you know, a pass to something else. So there's, there's, there's a, a ton of things you can do with because I believe even if they play well, we're still going to have a high pick. Um, you know, so we're going to have a decently high pick. You can turn that into a lot of different, you know, players that can fill a lot of different holes that we have on this football team. So that would be – Absolutely stupendous if that could happen. If these two young quarterbacks step up, again, that's one less big question answered on our roster. 